morning wake up. We've got car wash coming soon, but not before I've had, I was about to say a bucket of coffee, but it seems on the continent, they just don't do buckets of coffee. No, they just don't do it. Small like, it, just, <laughs> <laughs> it. Just came back from. I was in Italy for the launch of the Huracan Puffamante. Right. And I was only there two days, but I, you know, I used to like to start my morning with a coffee like this big. Yeah. I go downstairs and they're like, "Can I get you anything?" I was like, "Yeah, I'd love an Americano." And you see their face go like, <laughs> they're like, they're like, "What? <laughs> Be gone with you peasants!" You're you know? a heathen. <laughs> and they turn up with like that size. Like they turn up with this like a shot glass and they have a little bit, I'm not sure, I think they did it on purpose, like because I asked for Americano, they bring me this little shot glass like this with a, I'm not kidding you, like half an inch of like concentrated coffee. And then they say, if you want to, we bring you hot water. <laughs> I'm like, cool. A bit late. You yeah. actually got up and made something of the uh, day. Well, we had a plan. The saying goes, "You snooze, you lose." And we just missed out on all of. Did the guy snow foam or anything like that? No, just. just okay, because I was like, I had dreams of like slow mo high frame rate snow foam on a McLaren F1, so I'm not completely distraught that we. No, missed we just that. missed the air thing. Okay. However, you've gone and found an 18 kilometer mm -hmm. 911 R for sale in yellow. In yellow with green stripes. Would you spec it yeah, like this? Oh, I like these. I didn't even notice that. Carbon inlays on the wing mirrors, that's pretty sweet. It's amazing how much these like have shot up in value. As a result of the uh, new GT3 and it being available in manual, how do you think these are gonna cope? Or how do you think owners are gonna cope? <laughs> because I think Chris Harris's quote was, it makes the 911R feel a bit flat. Yeah, that was his quote, yeah. Uh, I'd cry into my tea if I'd read that and I'd bought that. I, I don't know. I feel like you kind of knew it was coming. Yeah. You know, you're only going to feel a little bit silly if you paid a lot for it second hand mm. and just didn't think about the consequences, but I think... See, it's not like when they released the, the 997 4.0 RS, yes. that wasn't such a big deal because the replacement was a PDK. Yeah. So it's like... Well, I've got a, one of but, the latest, greatest manual yeah. cars. But at the same time, you buy a Porsche, and it's like there's a new one every five minutes, so... You... There is that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. And you still can't get one. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. last night so it would be really rude not to come down and check out what's going on on track fortunately we've timed it with a pretty cool track did some really nice cars here fortunately we're not actually going on the uh, circuit but it's still very cool to be here take it all in and get some inspiration to come back oh it's not a good start to the morning for this chap what because he's driving a corvette <laughs> oh the, the whole rim's cracked oh, the whole rim is just smashed oh dear such is track life.
how's your how's your first taste of Europe so far, man? This is gorgeous. It's awesome, this right? This is amazing. Yeah. Like, I want racetracks like this. Well, he did get squirrely coming out of that turn right there. <laughs> yeah, but the car's still going. Like, yeah. every like, four or five laps. Those, those Lotuses sound good. Dude, Lotus I might be a good buy yeah. in the near future. Now this, this setup here is so cool. Towing your GT3 RS on your Raptor F150. I'm not sure which is cooler, actually. <laughs> These things are famous for having the uh, Fox Shocks. Check it out. Outboard Reservoir Fox Shocks. And they are absolutely colossal. Look at the size of that thing. What a great setup. Also, a sign that this guy is taking his track day seriously. Contrary to popular belief, standard steel discs on a GT3 RS, namely because when they wear out, and they do, they're much cheaper to replace steel discs than uh, carbon, so this guy's top lad. All right, very brief stint at Spa, and to come here, the legend of it is tangible. It's such a special track. Eau Rouge as well, the undulation is massive. Anyway, it's time to uh, jump in the F1 again and head to Stuttgart. We've hit some pretty bad, pretty bad traffic on the motorway, which has sent us off to this actually quite stunning village somewhere in Germany. I actually have no idea where we are, about half an hour uh, into uh, Germany from the Belgian border. We're now waiting for, for Luke in the 1M to join us. Going to grab some breakfast. I say breakfast, it's one o'clock. Also, I went and put out an Instagram post saying to everyone that we're going to turn up at uh, the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart at four o'clock. Since that traffic jam, that's gone out of the window. So. Late breakfast and then Porsche Museum. And the F1 is so hot, like the wax melts. <laughs> so I, I come out of the F1 and it's all my hair starts to get this like curtains look. I'm like, oh, not good. Not good. There's no hair product in no. the F1. <laughs> It's like, what is this grease spot in the back of this car? So then when we stepped out, we look on the roof, because I'm like putting my hand outside the window to like, hold on to it. And there's just this like area of grease on the top of the roof. I'm like, oh dear. But yeah, so today, like since it's been washed, I'm trying my, my best and like not do it. You need I've to get like a little glove. glove. Right. Yeah, a little white glove. A white glove? Like, when I do the Richard, one glove. Yeah, and when I do the Richard Mille photos, they give us like these velvet gloves to wear. So we don't yeah. get, to get like hand oils on watches. Yeah. And they always tell me the price. I'm like, this is a million dollars? For a watch? Opportunity to get the drone out. Maybe. Ooh. We do have a drone. We are in the countryside and there is. And there is a drone. And there's an F1. And that guy from the hotel is not going to be here. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what the plus so is about that. So maybe we could do that. Although we're supposed to be at the Porsche Museum for. What time's it closed? What time's the Porsche Museum closed? Five. Four thirty. Four in the car. Our ETA is out of the window. I shouldn't have put up that Instagram post. Is it a proper post? Oh yeah, hold on, like, we're going to be there for four o'clock. I think that's we changed ourselves at that moment. Sorry. Okay, let's get this, let's get this This is awesome. So earlier on, we put a message out on Instagram, albeit we were quite late, saying to 
people of Stuttgart that we're on our way in a McLaren F1 come down and see us. And there's people, they're all guys. Yo, how you doing? This is awesome. It's really cool that people made it down so like last minute, you know? We only gave them like two hours, so this is really cool. Yeah. Check out. Are you just gonna stick it check out Check out front? the wheels on this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. gonna check out the wheels on the six. That is cool. How cool is that? Body colored wheels are awesome. people oh in Stuttgart. Amazing. Holy shit. Yeah, if anyone's watching this, if you came down, thank you so much. It was amazing to see and talk to, to people. And then the other thing, Porsche Museum, we were only there for half an hour because it closed. Way to see it. But we got such a nice welcome. Oh, and our guy was like super happy to help. And super give us happy. He, he also took us to some like exclusive places. Yeah, but we got to go. Are still here. It's so cool. So I've never seen car spotters like this. This no. is not like a thing in the States. Is it not? No, not like, like, not like, not like this. this. Not no, like this. Not like this. <laughs> What's happening here, Fab? I live in the desert and it's 14C. <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> so you're warming your hands off the heat of a McLaren F1. Yeah, it's perfect. It's hot work, man. Uh, that's nice and toasty, though. <laughs> I'm a fan. This guy loves it, look. He loves oh, it. He's got no idea what See, it is. See, I can't though. tell if he knows either. So why he doesn't know. Why is he in the middle? Okay. Oh, I think the most the most fascinating thing I guess from this is when people even people who don't know he's going in for the kill. Even when people don't know what it is, they're still shocked by the whole central seating position thing. I mean that's cool. It's like, how does it work? Yeah, I know. Spaceship. Spaceship. NASA. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Spa circuit in Belgium. All right. Yeah, it's good fun. Oh, do you want to bring your camera back? Away. Yeah, I think so. Do you need anything else over here? Uh, it opens up better than that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, car parked. Oh, it's fancy. This is our hotel for the evening. Let's go check this place out. Yeah, awesome. Some funky styling going on here. Got a fire roaring as well, I can tell you. The last thing I expected to see today was an open fire, but it is actually pretty, pretty chilly here. What's going on outside? 
Oh, the grounds on this place are stunning. Albeit the low light on my camera really isn't doing any of this justice. Anyway, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to say thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Lots more F1 action coming soon, culminating in an F1 owner's tour, which I'm going to try and figure my best way of sharing as much of that with you as I can, because it's, it's going to be ridiculous. It's the 25th year anniversary of the McLaren F1, so it's a pretty big deal. Um, yeah, needless to say, there's going to be some really special kits headed up. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.